So I have a few questions. Why did you decide to put out a record? Was it just because of what Cam said on the program? That wasn't even a record. That was just like, um, he said something that just pushed me over the edge. I'm not going to lie. You know, my, what was the line that did album. it? What was the specific thing that did it that really set you off? When he said the bodily harm thing, you know, saying something about a person, I don't take that serious. But when you start saying you're going to do bodily harm or you thinking about that, it's my job as a man to make sure you don't get to do that. So well, that every other time when he was saying, you know, little stuff about me, I let it slide because, you know, we grew up, but people don't realize we've been enemies way longer than we've been friends. So I know him more as an enemy than I know him as a friend, if that makes sense. I know him as, for like eight years as a friend. I know him for 21 years as being an enemy. Wow. So I don't, so I don't look at him, at him as a friend. So, Mace, my, my, here's my, here's my issue. Mace, here's my issue. Nah, nah, nah. Ebro, Ebro, Ebro. Let me speak, because for 20 years, y'all let Cam speak. Right. You don't know my side of the show. You just know his side. Thank okay. you. Your I agree, Mace. Your whole perception of me came from Cameron. The whole world's perception of me came from Cameron and his affiliates. My beef with Jim comes from Cameron. Jewel said even he inherited a beef with me because of Cameron. Nobody really knows my side. So that's what made it so crazy because it's the first time you heard my side. <laughs> like even when you think of all other DJs and people that go at me sometimes, it's because for so long you've heard somebody else's side and not my side. So what do you have, what for your side? I mean, what we know what is, is yeah, what we know is you retired. You heard my side in the record. Well, yeah, but we also know that you retired, and there was some there was issues that you was having in the street that I don't really want to rehash. But no, 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 Ebro, Ebro, I wasn't having no issues in the street. That's Cameron's version of what happened. How how in the world can listen? There's no statute of limitations to murder, right? So if, if you do something to my brother, if I see you 50 years from now, it's still lit. So I wouldn't be able to go through Harlem today. It, there's no statute of limitation on murder. Are you kidding me? Mm. I ain't have no problems in those streets. Cam told you that. And you heard that so long that that's your perception. The facts? But what, I did, what I did in that rap was change the narrative. All I'm saying is this. Cam can't bully me. He ain't tough enough to bully me. He can't get nobody to help him bully me. And that's all I'm saying. So you're not going to bully me. I'm standing my ground as a man. And I'm willing to stand my ground as a man on any level. But we, don't want, we don't want this to become physical. That's not where we're going. No, but this is that is already there. That's what I'm trying to say. When you support his ignorance, you're helping it go there anyway. Because I already think them lyrically. There's no way else to go lyrically. What else you going to do? What about uh, yeah. some people made some people thought the Huddy line was a was a bit of a violation. I definitely thought the Huddy line was a little far. Yeah. OK, well, let me let me ask you this. When you when I'm going to church and when I'm trying to support my family and helping the inner city and you calling me a fourth teacher, you're not just hurting me. You help. You're hurting me from helping people. You, 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 you're creating chaos in people's families. You're not, you're not worrying about where that put Mace, his wife, or his kid every time Cam does that. Yeah, but Huddy's not so here, bro. No, stop, stop. Let me speak. You heard, we heard what everybody else has to say. Let me have my fear here. Every time he goes and does that, that affects family. It affects marriages. It affects children's view. So my job was to say, okay, I have to change this narrative. Because if not, he's going to keep doing it. And when you talk about HUD, you, when people judge me for something that I didn't do, I said that would be like, if you're going to judge me for the past, then I could judge you for Huddy's crash. That was the line. Okay. That was the line before that. So if you're going to judge me for something I wasn't there on, that would be like me judging him for Huddy crashing. Y'all took that the wrong way. Okay. Oh, I got it. So what, let me add, let's just be fair. Right, because I, I, I personally, like you said, ain't no fairness in war. Ain't no fairness in war. All, All right. I did was 
All I did was step up to the plate and say, okay, you want to keep playing unfair? Because it's not fair to go aggressive with a guy that's not being aggressive with you. I'm not being aggressive with you. For 20 years, I've turned the other cheek. I only have two cheeks, see, bro. I'm a man before a pastor. I was in the streets and I went to church. I'm not a church nigga trying to be street. I'm a street nigga who went to church. So if Cam was here, he would say, you mad, doggy. He would be like, you, no, are, are you mad? It. Are you mad? And that's what he's supposed to say. But you remember you that stuff? You don't want to see me angry. That's why. That's how he got the oracle, trying to push my button. Now, what about, the one thing I didn't like, Mace, was you guys kind of seemed like you were making up at the end. This You said, like, after a victory, no, you shake no. hands. But this isn't a typical sport. Okay. It's just like Drake said, free meat meal. You think he means that? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, well, I mean, we laughing and we trying to lighten the mood just because I don't want, I mean, look, man, a lot of people have lost I mean, their lives. I you can in my tone. All it is about is me standing my ground as a man. And we're right. two men in the room. Y'all should understand that. If, fact, I cross I get the street, if I cross the street and he try to block me over there. Then I cross the street over here as being a bigger man taking the high road. He tried to block me over there. I say, okay, I'm going to take a different street, and then you, you, you try to block me over there. It's no more running around it. In order for me to go forward, I have to go through him. So that's what I just made my mind up to do. I'm not going to keep turning the other cheek because I'm turning the other cheek to show that I do have character. I'm, I'm turning the other cheek to say I do got love for this guy. I don't want to be what I could really be. I, it's like a little brother hitting you, and you know you can take his hit. As soon as you hit him back, he start crying, going, you ain't have to hit me that hard. <laughs> Nigga didn't stop hitting me. What are you talking about? So now everybody's sympathetic for killer? For a killer? You sympathetic for a killer? I don't think anybody's sympathetic. I think we all, I think myself, I can speak for myself, I can speak for everybody. A lot of people, a lot of people feel, a lot of people feel, let me finish, let me finish real quick. A lot of people feel like you won. violated me and you have not stopped them from violating me. Come on, Laura Styles. <laughs> Laura, Laura can't stop nobody from violating you, man. I definitely cannot. Laura, Laura, 20 years they have let him go free, right? And without anybody stopping them, nobody's like, oh, you cool with me. Enough is enough. You said that already. You just keep letting them violate me. So at some point, this is about nothing other than saying, you can't bully me. I'm too grown to be bullied. That's so are, are you going to put out more records? Are you going to put out more now? records? Huh? Is there more music coming from Mace? Or are you going to disappear again? What's the plan? See, there you go, speaking from Cameron's voice. That's what he programmed you to think. And now you're saying it in your own words. Listen, we don't hear music from you, bro. What do you want us to say? We don't know. We, right. If we don't hear from you, we don't know. We, that's just normal human behavior. Okay. You're going to go okay. with the information that's share. available. Okay, and let me, let me share. That's why I'm giving you new information, and I'm asking you politely to let me give you new information. All right. Each time I come and say, okay, I have some music because of the politics or the, 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 re, what, the relationships between either flex in cam or different people in cam my music don't get a fair shot so let's be real okay let's be, let's be real it's not a matter of me making music i can go in 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 the booth today and give you a smash you know I, you know all the people i wrote for you know even when i left music i was still writing records that y'all went crazy over just other people was doing them. so it's not like i ever left anywhere yeah, but we're unaware when those things happen. Like, you know, the average consumer doesn't even know. Even us as DJs don't necessarily know that you're writing those records. I mean, I have no, a, okay. I'm happy for you, though. All right. Well, then, well, then it's time for y'all to get some get some research going. Because I work not writing people's songs but and it's entirely. But, you know, I don't want to say because I've messed up my money. But, you know, I'll just leave it at that. I could tell y'all that off the record. But... You know, now, I don't, I don't know if we need names. I don't know if we need names if that's going to be politically a disaster for you and it's going to slow down your bread. I don't know if we need to go that far. But I do want to say, like I've been saying, 
I was unexpected over the holiday weekend to see this thing escalate. Yes. I didn't expect to see that happen. Um, I did feel, I guess, and it's probably my age, I did feel concerned um, that, you know, this might escalate. But I also do know that a lot of the people that used to contribute to the escalations are no longer with us. Um, and people have gotten older. So I guess I just don't want to see a rehashing of something that hopefully um, can become, uns you know, that we'll competition tell, comes. We'll tell them, we'll tell them to chill because all we're doing on our side is defending ourselves. That's the only thing we're doing. And I don't think you can get mad at a person for defending them. I don't think I'm anybody's mad. I don't. I didn't hear anybody. I mad thought at everyone. You I thought everyone yeah, unanimously sort of thought you won. I mean, Flex even went on his Instagram and said Mates won. I mean, and I agreed with him. I thought it was pretty clear you kind of took this one. All right. So then that means W for me and L for him. <laughs> that's all. That's all, all right. you care about. That's all you care about. He said, yeah, I mean, I get it. That's all I care about. That's why I said it was for bragging rights. You know how when you play against your brother, and we're not cool behind the scenes. They're still trying to pressure Shug. He's a fashion designer. Don't get all tough with him. Get tough with with people in the streets that's really about that life that you, they still haven't cleared that up. Don't get tough with a fashion designer. Mm. He's a fashion designer. On our, Ebro, on our uh, research, our poll this morning on mm -hmm. Ebro in the Morning, 73% of Hot 97 listeners thought Mace won over Cameron this weekend. So. Landslide. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm, 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 I'm going to leave it here, man. I'm going to leave it here. I appreciate you reaching out. And as usual, you have my line, so just keep us posted on what's going on with you. Um, look, hey, Mace, did you listen to the program, though, with Cameron? Did you listen to the whole project? No, but when I spoke to Fab, he told me that he was he, he kind of liked the music and that. No, you should listen to it, Cameron. Like look, if, if nothing wow. else, if nothing else, if nothing else, you should listen to it as a as a rap fan, as a music fan. I know there's shots in there at you, but you're able to take those. You've taken them for years, so you'll be you'll be all right. Go listen to the music. It's good music, man. See, there you go. You selling it again. You you programmed me, bro. No, nah, I'm just saying, man. When the music look, Cam don't like me. I'm either. Cam hasn't been up here. Cam hasn't man. come to see me. I think he talked shit about me on his IG live one time. Yeah. So I'm saying that oh, I didn't like him or something. Yeah, he said, I, I went at him about the amount of money he making. Something I heard, I, I didn't know what he was talking about. But whatever. We're unbiased, though. I don't give a shit if people don't like me or they like me or whatever. I'm going to listen to the oh, music yeah. if I like it. That's what I like about you, but, you know, Paul, but you get what I'm saying. It's love, man. So, look, Mace, yeah. stay, look, if you're going to be around, stay around. Put out some music, man. All right, and when I put it out. I'm going to play. You got my word. I'm going to hit it. If it's trash, I got to let you know, though. You know I'm not going to give you no trash. I mean, come on. It could happen. <laughs> Anyone's capable. Nah, not, when I'm in, not when I'm in Murder in Murderville. I can't miss. Well, well let's go. Well, I, the whole being a pastor and being in Murderville is a, it's it's a weird place for me to, uh, to, to, to be with you. But if you say so. Well, that that's your perspective. I'm not supposed to live from your view. I'm supposed to live from my belief, not your belief. Well, your Ebro's been programmed. Been yeah, you know, I'm, even my condition has been Your condition has been conditioned, yeah, 100%. Mace, y'all yeah, yeah, give it up for yeah. Mace. Thanks for taking the time out for us today, man. Woo! So that was Mace murder today on Hot 9-7. What you guys think? He explained why he made the Oracle. He explained his uh, whole position. He explained the huddy line. So that should be the end of it. As far as the questions y'all had. I'm out. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe to your boy Carcino for life. And hit the notification button so you can be notified whenever the stuff like this pop up. I'm out.